Have you ever heard of such brands as ITM, ICM or HEPCO? I suppose you probably haven't and that's not surprising, because these are typical Iranian tractors and heavy machinery brands, which we are going to discuss in today's episode. This country has a really bad reputation on the international arena, mainly due to its political system based on radical Islam and numerous clashes between Iran, United States and European Union. In fact, Iran is not a scary country as it is portrayed in the media and Iranians are very friendly towards tourists. What's more, it is one of the safer Islamic countries to go to. It is worth noting that it's not an Arab country, but a Persian one, and calling an Iranian an Arab is treated as a quite serious insult. But what is most important for us in this episode, Iran is one of the Middle East's greatest powers when it comes to industrial production. Over the years of being isolated from the rest of the world, it has developed its heavy industry quite strongly, thanks to which today Iran is largely self-sufficient and supplies its tractors and machinery to numerous export markets around the world. My name is Mateo, welcome to my channel. I am a farmer and tractor enthusiast from Poland, introducing you to this amazing world of tractors and heavy machinery. In today's episode, I'm going to present you the biggest Iranian tractors and machinery brands, which you probably didn't know. If you like my video, please leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel in order not to miss any of my new videos. And now, without further ado, let's jump into the story. ITM Co., or Iron Tractor Manufacturing Company, based in Tabriz, is the largest tractor manufacturer of the Middle East. The company employs over 5,000 employees and is specialized in the production of wide range of tractors with power from 30 to even 150 horsepower. The company was founded in 1966 as a result of an agreement between Iranian government and the Romanian UTB tractor plant. As a result, in 1968 the production of Romanian universal tractors model U6050 and U6051 began in Iran in the amount of 10,000 copies per year. In 1975 ITM Co. concluded a license agreement with Massey Ferguson for the production of MF-135, MF-165, MF-185 and MF-295 in the amount of 13,000 units. For the purposes of this cooperation, a second company called Motor Sazan was established to deal with the production of Perkins license engines installed in a new licensed tractors. In the early 1990s, the plant began to develop quite dynamically. Factory started production of another MF licensed tractor, model 399, with a power of 110 horsepower. In the 2000s, ITM established several subsidiaries, such as Kordestan Tractor Manufacturing Company, in short KTM Co., and similarly OTM Co., based in Orma, Azerbaijan. In the meantime, the offer has also expanded to include smaller tractors, also built under license, this time of the Italian brand Goldoni. Currently, ITM Co. has also subsidiaries in Venezuela, Tajikistan, Sudan, Uganda, Libya, Brazil and Zimbabwe, and recently also Bolivia and Turkey. In total, the company exports its products to as many as 10 countries in the world, including Russia. This way the company basically dominated the tractor markets of third world countries, becoming in many of them the main suppliers of tractors. These tractors often have different names or colors depending on which factory they live, but don't get confused. The tractors are manufactured in iron, then packed in parts into containers and sent to other factories in other countries for assembly. This method of production and distribution is called complete knockdown and thanks to this it is possible to significantly reduce transport costs. At the moment, the factory estimated its production capacity at over 30,000 tractors per year, which is a really good result, even considering that their products are rather simple mechanical structures. In 2014, the company did a little rebranding and changed the name of its brand to simply ITM. Please not be confused with the Serbian IMT, because it's not the same. In addition to tractors, ITM also has some backhoe loaders in production. In 2015, 
two new models, 4120 and 1500 were also launched into production, which in appearance are based on newer Massey Ferguson designs, but from what I was able to determine, despite the appearance, it's not the same Massey's as we know from the European market. The larger one actually has a cabin confusingly similar to modern Massey cabins, while the transmission is some kind of ZF product unknown in Europe and power unit is an Iranian motor Sazan. To be honest, I was surprised at the scale of this production in Iran. Yes, I expected them to be licensed tractors, but I did not think that Iran would be a leader when it comes to supplying tractors to the countries of Middle East, Africa and even parts of South America. Iran also produces their own combine harvesters. In this case, no one even bothered to be creative when coming up with the name, because the name of the company producing combines is analogous to that one producing tractors. I mean of course ICM, Iran Combine Manufacturing Company based in the capital of Iran, Tehran. The company was founded in 1969 and was initially established under the name Jansas. In the first years of operation, it mainly dealt with the production of smaller, not very complicated farm machinery. However, in early 70s, under the agreement concluded with authorities, the company was sold to John Deere, which started the production of its small conventional combine harvesters in Iran under the Iran John Deere brand. As a result, models such as John Deere 955, 1050i, 1150, 1165, 1170 or 1450 were produced in Iran. In the 1980s, the company underwent ownership changes. The company was transformed into joint stock company and the name was changed to ICM. The company produces simple harvesters to this day in almost unchanged form and its products are exported to China, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Uzbekistan, Zimbabwe and Venezuela. The Iranians have their own John Deere, but in the past class combines were also produced in Iran. The license for the production of Dominator 68 Harvester was purchased by Sahant Company, but from what I'd have determined, this production did not last too long. I haven't been able to determine the official reason, but I suppose it could be related to the fact that sometime later, class brand entered the Iranian market with its combines on its own, so the production of combine under license didn't make sense anymore. Looking for information on machines produced in Iran, I came across the Machine Barzegar website. They are the owners of two brands, Hamedan and Kharvi. The former is a brand of rather unusual harvesters. I suppose these are machines with a rotor threshing system, with the rotor positioned transversely as it is in Gleaner or Class Crop Tiger combines. What's more interesting, their latest creation, the HMB240, in addition to the grain tank, is also equipped with a tank for chopped straw and chaff, which is used then to feed the animals. Hamedan is a private company that produces combine harvesters on smaller scale than ICM and its name comes from the name of the town. I would like to say something more about this construction, but at the moment it was hard for me to find something apart from this short description and these not best quality recordings. HEPCO, or Heavy Equipment Production Company, used to be the largest manufacturer of heavy equipment in the Middle East, even bigger than the ones I mentioned earlier. The manufacturer's offer included mainly construction machinery and equipment for oil, mining and gas industry. The company was founded in 1972 in Iraq, in the northwestern part of the country. Initially, the plant produced bulldozers, loaders, road rollers and graders constructed on the basis of the license obtained from International Harvester. In the 1980s, HEPCO established cooperation with the Volvo and Liebherr brand. As a result, the production of excavators and other construction equipment based on European designs was started at the plant. In 2001, cooperation was established with the Japanese Komatsu, as a result of which the production of Komatsu loaders and bulldozers was started at the HEPCO plants. Only two years later, 
In 2003, Hepco became the domestic importer of New Holland tractors and agriculture machinery for the Iranian market. In 2007, the company was privatized. The plant has also established cooperation with Chinese brands XCMG and Photon. I don't know how up to date this information is, but a few years ago the plant was struggling with serious financial problems and from what I was able to understand, currently production is very limited. I'm not even sure if they still produce all this equipment, because the situation was really critical and there were numerous worker strikes in the factory. And that's all for today's episode. I wonder what do you think, but personally I have to admit that I'm quite impressed by Iran's heavy industry. Before I started working on this material, I knew that they produced some tractors based on the old Massey Ferguson license, or I had heard about John Deere combines produced in Iran, but I didn't realize how large the scale of this production is. It turns out that Iran has become quite independent when it comes to the production of tractors and machines. In addition to the brands that I mentioned in the material, Iran also have several owned brands of cars and trucks. Yes, these are also not their own designs, because these cars are also based on license from European designs, including for example Peugeot, while the scale of this production and export to so many countries was surprising to me. I'm very curious, what do you think about it? Maybe someone of you has even more interesting facts and information about industrial production of Iran. Please feel free to share what do you think in the comments. Are there any Iranians watching this video who could share with us more info about their heavy industry? I would be glad to hear what's more you can say about your tractors and machinery industry. And that's all for today's episode. I hope you like my video. If so, be sure to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel in order not to miss any of my new videos. And now thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. I'm alone